Hello everybody, welcome to Tom's Tips and we're having another Mythbuster test again today. Now I've just been watching a guy on YouTube and he's called Got To Learn, which is G O T and then the letter two Got To Learn. And it he's American, I think he's American, and he's he's quite good. He's giving all these tips away but fast, fast action. And you know he's got a bit of rapping music going as well. Uh, which is all very nice for Americans, you know Americans they like to talk and talk and talk and talk and don't get down to it but he gets down to it and some of the tips pretty good uh, this one I'm going to myth bust is one that I've never tried myself and it's uh, reforming a pipe if a pipe is, is out of shape he's saying that we can put the adjustable spanner on Turn the adjustable spanner and to bring it back into shape. So we're going to test that. So come in and let's test it. So <clears throat> if that was slightly out of shape, this is what I would do. I'd use another fitting as a reamer, put it on and twist that round, and that would work 99% of the time. But that's um, badly reshaped it won't work. So we're going to try his method with the adjustable spanner. First of all we'll reshape that. Now my method won't work on that because you have no chance of getting that off. So we'll try the uh, got to learn method which is saying that he puts his uh, spanner on there until he gets the, the shape, the, the size of the pipe, then twist that round, wait a minute I need to grip that better because I've not got much grip in my hands there and we'll turn that round probably have to take your spanner a bit lesser because there's, there's flexibility in the pipe okay so let's try that now just looking at it you can see it's not quite right but maybe that'll go on. We will be able to get that on with a bit of thrutching as we say in Wigan. Yeah, so that does work. So we'll give the American the credit for that one. That's okay. Right, so that's another good tip brought to you from Wigan. Well, from Transatlantic. That's a transatlantic tip. 